Welcome everybody on Car Rumbler channel. There was a short break on my channel, but today we return with Toyota Corolla 8th generation. Second half of the 1990s was a time in car designs where everything had to be curved. So very curvy cars came across the market like Fiat Multipla, Renault Clio and this one, Toyota Corolla, uh, had this very interesting headlamps units uh, that were supposed to look like eyes of uh, insects, of a fly or other insect, I don't know which one. And uh, what I didn't know back then was that the car was seen by the customers as very controversial. Um, you have to judge it on your own. The fact is that those lamps were there on the car only two years. After two years, they decided to make a facelift and get rid of this headlight units. Finding some interesting facts about Toyota Corolla is not an easy task. The only interesting information I found about this car range is that in 1997, when this generation of Corolla was produced, the total number of produced Corollas got bigger than the total number of produced Volkswagen Beetles. But is it really fair to compare those two examples? Eight generations of a car with a Volkswagen Beetle, really? So we are inside the Toyota Corolla 8th generation. This is a very good preserved car. It has only 72,000 kilometers on it. Um, very clean inside, like a time capsule. So you can feel yourself like you would be in the middle of the 90s driving this car around. We have this uh, very funny material inside the, 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 on the seats. So it's uh, very soft seats. Uh, very uh, interesting pattern here and the same is on the door uh, looking from the left on the doors we have um, electric powered windows and central locking system we have here uh, fog lights the, here we, i think it's for coins maybe yeah it's i think so it's probably for coins um, air vents uh, on the uh, instrument panel we have a speedometer, rotations per, per minute, and uh, temperature of the fluid and uh, gasoline level. In the middle console, nothing special. As I said, this is a very normal car. It's very tidy made. Uh, it's very good uh, quality made for the time, but it's very normal. There is nothing like uh, crazy going on here. So we have here, um, ventilation control, a clock, digital one, uh, a place for a radio here, and a small glove box. Oh, not that small, look, it's pretty deep. Um, it closes very nicely. It's like, you just push it here to this level and it closes alone, huh? very nice. A cup holder, very well made and very good idea. And a cigarette lighter and uh, an ashtray so everything that you would need uh, the geo leveler uh, has this rubber uh, rubber part here something that we, we wouldn't accept nowadays but back in the 90s a rubber piece in here in the middle console was something normal i would say handbrake and a small glove box here underneath the armrest and we have a glove box, of course, here. So a very tidy car. You can see 1990s in its full glory. Uh, the materials are typical for the 90s. So it's uh, 
here it's a little bit soft here it's not already it's hard but you can uh, you can uh, see that the quality and the materials fit to each other very good in a very good way engine is the basic one that you could get for this model 1.3 liters 85 horsepower with 16 valves uh, allowed you to speed up to 100 kilometers per hour in 12 and a half seconds and the top speed was around 170 kilometers per hour. Zobaczymy. Słuchajcie, bardzo się, bardzo się staram, żeby nie nabrudzić, bo naprawdę w samochodzie jest czyściutko. O, no, będzie kłopot. Troszkę kłopot. Widzicie? Hop. Dobra. Ok, in the back seat, huh? A little bit tight. Um, so I think it's for a Asian person, a little bit smaller than me. I am 1 meter 85, uh, so I have to sit like this. It's not possible to stretch my legs. Um, and for the head, there is also not enough space. So if you are over 1 meter 85, this will be very hard to be here. Uh, but nevertheless, the uh, materials, same as in the front, very interesting pattern. Uh, on the seats, uh, looking from the time, time perspective. Um, very tidy interior, the headlining is like new, and uh, the whole car inside mainly looks like new. It's uh, 23 years old, imagine, this Corolla is 23 years old, you can, uh, you know then how old you are looking at the car that you remember driving new, and now it's 23 years old already. So I'm getting old, very old. Let's see the, uh, let's see the trunk. Oh, the trunk is very deep. Uh, it's possible to fold the seats. And let's have a look here. We have a nice shelf for your small belongings. And let's see here underneath this mat. Uh -huh. Here we have a new spare wheel never been used you can see there is this paint on on it so never been used new condition and we have a toolkit uh, let's see what did the uh, car manufacturer give you in the 1990s so a small stand so you your car won't uh, drive back when you when you jack it up a set of tools very nice screwdriver keys, so on, very nice things, and we have something for your spark plugs, I think, and the wheel key, wheel nut key, okay, so nearly everything that you might need in a case of emergency, and uh, for your car jack here is this handle, so very nice, clean interior, Dobra. surprising how little has changed regarding the driving experience during the last 25 years. This car is 24 years old but the driving experience is really close to that one that you get with new, new modern cars. True, today we get more electronics, good stereo systems and so on, but the driving experience, how the car handles, how it changes the gear, gears, the position, the quality of the materials, I wouldn't say we've done a big step forward in this matter. So here everything warns, everything works like expected. So the gears switch very easily, the handling is very precise, and the engine is enough for this car to keep up, up with modern traffic.